Elsewhere tonight, two bills that would restrict LGBT education and affirmation have moved forward in the House Education Committee in Des Moines. House File 8 would not allow instruction relating to gender identity and sexual orientation in school districts from kindergarten through third grade. House File 9 prevents school staff members from affirming a student's gender identity if it's not what is on a birth certificate. Siouxland Representative Skylar Wheeler chairs that committee and explains why the measure is a priority this legislative session. Obviously what happened with Linmar this past, I think it was summer into fall, concerned a lot of parents. Uh, we just believe as, as House Republicans that parents know what's best for their kids uh, and parents should know what's going on at school. I mean, it's really that simple. Now, the Linmar School District in Lynn County approved a policy change last year that would allow a student's gender identity to remain private, including withholding that information from a parent. Representative Wheeler says that's what pushed forward both of these bills. Meanwhile, a Democrat on the House Education Committee says that communities should control their school district policy, not the state. I don't feel in state government that we should be going after one segment of our population like this. I really don't. I feel, you know, things are hard enough for them. They don't choose this by any means. And um, we should let them deal with it in the ways they need to deal with it and not zero in on them. Those two bills were introduced in the Senate today and in the House, the bills will see discussion in subcommittee form in the near future.